is Christina Tirado. Um, I am uh, with the University of California, Los Angeles, with the Institute of Environment and Sustainability. And I am currently collaborating with CEO on climate change and nutrition. Hi, this is Benjamin De Ritter from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. I'm currently based at the Regional Office for Africa and Climate Change Officer. Well, the main challenges will be um, to genuinely convince the adaptation community of the benefits, of the co-benefits and benefits to the uh, community of including them in the project design from the beginning, measuring the baseline, knowing how the community is, I mean, what is the situation of the community, and at the end of the in, uh, adaptation intervention to measure if there is any, uh, you know, an, uh, an improvement or perhaps, you know, uh, a negative impact. And, and this is a huge uh, benefit and it's a challenge at the same time because you have to convince people that usually are doing easily this project to include another uh, company. Uh, well, there was a lot of interesting discussion ongoing, but what's, 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 what's very positive is that uh, uh, at the end the question came of what's next, because it's a new, it's a new uh, uh, agenda, a new field of play introducing, in, uh, uh, integrating nutrition into the climate change adaptation uh, context. So they really were keen to know what's the next step, how can we engage, what's going on, uh, what we, what, how can we uh, improve our understanding. So. And uh, I'm sure uh, FAO and together with uh, UCLA and other partners will try to uh, establish a, a community of practice, yes. uh, trying to share uh, best practices, approaches, guidelines on, on uh, integrating nutrition better in climate change adaptation. Uh, for me, it, there was a lot of discussion on on the context specificity of, of the, the proposed uh, nutrition indicator on minimum diversity mm -hmm. uh, for, for dietary diversity for women. Uh, there was uh, quite a few challenges in understanding is it going to be feasible to measure it at community level or is it going to be more looking at the national policy context to ensure uh, it's a goal in itself, the indicator, and not, not as such as, as at community local uh, uh, specificity. Mm -hmm. mm. Which is both. Mm. I mean, it's a complicated question because yeah. it's both. It could be adapted for both. So key lessons that uh, you know that I think that the partner that there is an interest. There, are, there are many groups that they really were looking for a long time to include nutrition, but they didn't know how to. Mm. And the important thing is that now they have seen the potential for partnership and, uh, you know, this is something that can open the doors for them, for us, for everybody to work together in, in including these indicators. And for me also is the existing knowledge base, of especially like looking at local specific mm. conditions and, 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 and practices. There's a lot of things out there, so we really need to uh, share amongst each other and, and bring the best approach forward. Mm -hmm.